Wawancara eksklusif Fakta Israel dengan pendiri Memri tentang perang. Yigal Karmon adalah presiden dan pendiri Institut Riset Media Timur Tengah atau dikenal sebagai Memri. Fakta Israel mewawancarai orang hebat ini pada Maret 2024. Thank you so much for uh, coming here. Uh, I would say that uh, antisemitism that was always existing in the Arab and Muslim world uh, has uh, accelerated, has has become uh, far more extensive as a result of the uh, October 7 attack mm -hmm. and as a result of Israel's reaction. Mm -hmm. I want to draw the difference. Before Israel ever reacted, a war that took three weeks to even begin, mm -hmm. it was just the attack on Israel on October 7. And that in itself, before any reaction by Israel, was tragically mm -hmm. a reason for a wave of identification with Hamas mm. from San Francisco to Oman and beyond. It was a statement by masses that yes, we, our heart is with Hamas. I'm uh, stressing this point that this happened before Israel's reaction, which Mm -hmm. tragically is very horrific mm -hmm. because in the attempt to reach to the Hamas fighters, mm -hmm. we have to go through the population yeah. because Hamas takes the population as human shields in contravention to international laws. Yeah. And what can we do? There are entries to tunnels from homes. Mm -hmm a room at, in the home of people with an entry to a tunnel. There are tunnels under the hospitals. Uh, in Khan Yunis, under UNRWA, yeah. there was a major center of communication and UNRWA paid for the electricity for that. Yeah. Yeah. And they never said anything. This was huge amount of money that they paid for Hamas. Mm -hmm. So Israel tragically, most tragically, has no choice but to go through the population because Hamas made the population force them to be unarmed fighters on its side, mm -hmm. human shields. Uh, Musa Abu Marzouk was interviewed, this is a video that we translated, mm -hmm. where he was asked, why didn't you prepare shelters for the population? And he said as follows, the tunnels are for the fighters, yeah. mm -hmm. the population it's the business of the UN. These people are sacrificing their own population to defend them. Yeah. When food comes from Egypt mm -hmm. and the population is jumping on the trucks to have food, mm -hmm. they shoot them. They take the food down to the tunnels. Yeah. And then they even sell it mm -hmm. in high prices. Yeah. They say, uh, what's the big deal? The Algerians paid a million casualties for the sake of freedom. Mm. Well, they don't need to pay anything for the sake of freedom. There was no need for this. Mm -hmm. It should be negotiations for peace. Yeah. But what uh, they don't want that. They attacked not settlements, they attacked Israel. Yeah. They call it settlements. Yeah. But they say, like all the people in the world, well, yeah. from the river to, to the, the sea, sea, Palestine will be free. Tel Aviv, Haifa, yeah. 
Be'er Sheva, all the settlements for them. Yeah. So for them, it wasn't a attack against occupation, except that all of Israel is one big occupation yeah. for them. And then, what do you do? Mm -hmm. What can you do in such a situation? Yeah. You have to fight. Yes, of course. Salam damai dari Fakta Israel.